Excellence, honored participant from near and far, dear friends, a very, a very warm welcome to all of you to the Arctic Hub Conference set in this beautiful Nordic house in Torshavn, a house that itself embodies Nordic and Arctic cooperation with its unique Arctic culture, uh, expressing um, culture meet where, where culture meet nature. The Faroes, uh, a Faroese uh, author, Hainbrew, once said, we Faroese don't live in the Faroe Island of practical reason. The reality behind these words is the fact that the Faroes live far from Europe, mainland, on the doorstep to the Arctic, where nature is tough and challenging. Behind these words is also to find a love for these islands where our um, ancestors settled and built their homes. They formed their destiny. Our destiny is a strong will to continue to build this nation, to continue to improve quality of life for, for the people of this land, for ourselves and for our children. In spite of harsh condition, People here have stubbornly, through many generations, continually to build their own center of the world. Here in our own center of gravity, in the middle of the North Atlantic, the pharaohs have developed an advanced knowledge-based society. You who come visiting from big cities and large nations find in the remote, stormy place in the middle of nowhere, an island nation that evolved into a modern welfare society. Our society is thriving, and our economy is growing, and the pharaohs export high-quality seafood to all six continents. We provide welfare that, that, that meet the ex, ex, um, expectation of modern globalized citizens. Here our people have the same high standard of communication service that you find in the advanced cities of the world. The population is growing and we are um, recently reached the record high of 50,000. This is due to a healthy birth rate. This is because of the number of, the, of people who want to move to other islands are higher than those who leave. The Faroe Islands may seem to be remote, but our country is now closely connected to, to the surround world. The distance by air traveling to Europe, mainland, is only two hours, and the salmon taken in the Faroe Fjord today can be served at the Platte in Asia or United States tomorrow. <clears throat> now, around us we see changes. This climate is cha the climate is changing. The Arctic region is changing. And where it was earlier large, a large region of uh, um, scientific interest, it is now gain gaining uh, a, a, a growing global political attention. The Arctic agenda today is about climate change and challenges regarding natural environment. However, it is also about economic development and new business opportunities, be it the, immigration, the emergency of new ship lanes or extraction of natural resources in new places as the ice are receding. The major challenge in, in this development is to su secure sustainability in these activities. In this context, we must not forget the most valuable resources, the people living in the Arctic. In our efforts to develop economical opportunities, we must have as a point um, of departure the goal of secure um, 
a good and sound future for the people who actually live here. This goes for us who live at, on the doorstep at the, uh, at the Arctic region, but particularly this applies for those people who live in the high north. We are aware that matters concerning the Arctic is not only of interest for us who live here. The natural, environmental, and economic cha changes and challenges in the Arctic region reach far beyond the region. And there is a need of international cooperation to secure good and sustainable so solutions. The Faroe Islands have a long history as an active partner in Arctic cooperation. It is an effort to value and to plan to continue to take part in that further on. The Arctic Corporation is in many ways a model of uh, ex ex excellent, me, excellent international uh, peaceful corporation. The fact that the Arctic Council has been nominated for the highly respect Nobel Prize Peace speak for itself. This peaceful and, and beneficial corporation should serve as an example for other regions to follow. The Fair Government is proud of hosting this Arctic Forum Conference, and I trust that in the course of the next two days, we shall have many discussions that will be interesting, challenging, inspiring, and relevant. I'm sure we will have a good time together, also outside the meetings. Life is also about enjoy each other's company and frequently conversations are most reward when there is no formal agenda or planned topics. So once again, a warm welcome to the Faroe Islands and this conference. Thank you.